Did you know that you can do much more with cola than just drink it? Why you should tip it over your cutlery and six other ingenious tricks with cola that everyone should know, I'll show you in this short video. After this you will definitely see cola with different eyes. Let's start with trick number one. For this trick we tip coke down our drain. This has two advantages. After a while you will surely know that your drain no longer smells so pleasant that maybe even gets more and more clogged. Because of the phosphoric acid contained in cola we can solve both problems directly. And this is how it works. All you need is a can of cola. By the way you can also use completely expired cola. That way you don't have to waste a coke that you might still drink. Because whether it has expired is completely irrelevant for this trick. So now grab the can of coke and dump it down your drain. Tip all the coke in here now. And then it has to soak in. In the best case it should soak overnight. Once you've tipped it in, you shouldn't tip any more water in and wait until the next morning. During this time the phosphoric acid can do its work. The next morning rinse thoroughly with hot water. In this way you rinse away all the deposits that have been dissolved by the phosphoric acid and the bad smell will also be gone. For trick number two, let's tackle the filter of our cooker bonnet. Over time this gets quite dirty and quite a bit of grease accumulates here, which you can't easily get cleaned. But with a little cola it really does work. But first we have to do something else with it. You should now put the filter of the extractor bonnet somewhere where it will fit. The best place is a baking tray like this. Put it in here and then pour some baking soda over it. Depending on how dirty the filter is, 3 to 4 tablespoons are enough. Before we get to the cola we need another thing, namely water. This should be hot. So now tip hot water directly over the filter. There should be so much water that the whole filter is under water. If it comes up automatically you can take a glass and put this on top so that it's fixed a little bit. Leave it like this for about half an hour. Then the cola comes into play. Take about 300 milliliters of cola and pour it over the top. When you have spread it out well, you should let it soak in for another 15 minutes. During this time the cola can make sure that residues of grease and other deposits are also removed. When the time is up, you can remove the filter of the cooker bonnet. Most of the dirt has already been removed. And everything that hasn't come off yet can now be removed really easily with a sponge. I just wipe it once, as you can see here, and all the dirt is removed. When you have wiped it all over you should rinse it again under hot water. And you can put it back in because it is now completely clean. All thanks to some baking soda, cola and water. And even when cleaning the toilet cola can help you as you can see in the third trick. Besides the cola we need another tool here which I will show you in a moment. In the first step tip about one can of cola into your toilet. And do it in such a way that there is some of it everywhere. So we distribute it fairly well. Again it can be stale, old cola which is even better, so you don't waste any. Now we already need the second aid and that is baking powder. The combination of cola and baking powder is a wonderful way to clean the toilet. Instead of baking powder you can also use baking soda. If you use baking soda you should pour about two bags into the toilet. Again make sure that some of it sticks to everything. Where the baking soda comes into contact with the cola you will immediately see a reaction. The next step is to let it soak in for about 30 minutes. The combination of cola and baking soda now ensures that all deposits as well as urine scale are removed from the toilet. When the time is up all you have to do is take a toilet brush, give everything a good wipe down and finally flush again. And the toilet will shine like new again. You can achieve a similar ingenious trick by mixing cola with salt. Here however we can do much more with the end product. Grab a container and pour about half a liter of cola into it. Once you have done that you now need salt. There should be about 2 to 3 tablespoons of it. Now add this to the cola as well. At the end we have to mix everything together really well. We want the salt to dissolve completely in the cola. So stir it for a few minutes and wait a little. When you notice that there is no more salt in it you can pour the whole thing into a bottle. The empty coke bottle is perfect for this. Grab a funnel and pour it into the top here. However if you have children make sure that you take off the band or use a different bottle so that they don't accidentally drink from it. Of course you should also keep it out of the reach of children. Now take the lid and make a small hole in with a hot object. 
When you have done this you can screw it back on. Now you have the perfect bottle to clean your entire bathroom with. Of course you can also use this in your toilet. By dosing the bottle perfectly in the toilet let it work for 30 minutes. You can also use it to perfectly clean stainless steel taps, your entire wash basin or even the shower. Simply spray everything a little, wipe over it again, rinse it off at the end and everything will shine like new again. If you have waited 30 minutes in the toilet then all you have to do is take the toilet brush, wipe and rinse again. And everything is clean again. Now as I said you can put the bottle with your other cleaning products and every time you need some of it you take it out and just use it. And for our fifth trick we want to mix cola with soap because this also has some enormous benefits as you will see in a moment. But for this we need to prepare the soap a little bit first because it should be finely grated. Grab a pot, a cheese grater and a whole bar of soap. Now grate it completely. Once you have done that you can add the cola. We also need half a liter of this. Pour it completely into the pot with the soap. We also need two more ingredients. The first ingredient is water. Add another 250 milliliters of water. Now we need some baking soda. One to two tablespoons of this should be enough. And also a small amount of salt. About one tablespoon. When everything is in the pot put it on the cooker and let it boil gently. The soap should completely dissolve here at the end. When it has you should tip it into a tin and set it aside for a few hours until it has hardened again a little. Because now you have actually a perfect homemade stainless steel cleaner. Take a sponge and wipe it through a few times. This will always loosen a small amount of the paste. With this you can now clean your sink completely but you can also get pots and pans for example super clean again with this paste. Put it aside and take it out whenever you need some. For our sixth trick we want to tip coke over our cutlery. Because surely you know that your cutlery doesn't look so nice anymore over time. Maybe even rust has formed on it. Which is of course very annoying. But with cola you can remove this again. The phosphoric acid contained in cola is also an ingredient in rust remover. Of course we find the whole thing in the cola in small doses. After all we still want to drink it. Therefore the whole thing needs some time to take effect so that the rust can be removed here. Take a bowl or dish where your cutlery fits. Now put all the cutlery that has a little rust in here. Now you need cola. Add so much cola that all the cutlery or all the parts that have a little rust have disappeared under the cola. Leave it like this. In the best case leave it as long as possible, maybe even for a day or two, so that the phosphoric acid can do its work. When it's done you'll need another tool. Grab a piece of aluminium foil and crumble it up. Now take the cutlery out and rub the piece of aluminium foil over all the rusted areas. This really removes everything and makes the cutlery shine like new again. Do you also know the ingenious trick why you should wrap your feet in clinch film? Click on the video you see on the screen and I'll show you how it works.